Hello, today we will see how to use Angular Material Autocomplete with signals, validation, and filtering. It's a new project with latest Angular, Angular Material, and Tailwind. These are imports we need. We have a form and we have a button, which is disabled if form is invalid. I'm using JSON placeholder API to get users and use it as options for the autocomplete. This user list is converted from observable to signal. Also, I need to install Prettier to have correct formatting. Let's add value for our input. And we can define autocomplete in the template. Bind value to the input and display drop down with options. Now we have list of options. Let's explore what is value behavior when we use autocomplete. When I type something, the value is a string, but when I select option, the value is a user object, as you can see here, because this option value is our user. We can do like this, and in that case it will be a name. And you notice, when you select an option, you have object object. So to fix that, we can use display with. And this function will run anytime we select an option. When we select a user, we need to display user name. To be more specific what value is, sometimes it can be a string, and sometimes it can be a user. I use computed to define filtered options. I have two dependencies, options and value. Now I need to check if value is a string, then we need to return value. Another case means that value is an user object, so in that case we need to return a value name. And return filtered options. Now replace filtered options in the template. But watch if we have saved form and selected user was user number 5, which is Chelsea. And when we come back on that form, we want to see that user populated in our autocomplete. Let's use linked signal to achieve this. It will be our value, which is type with string or user. And we have two dependencies, options and initial user ID. And basically we need to find user by user ID. And in nothing found, we need to return empty string. As you can see, Default value is here, so let's change on user with ID number one, and we do have it. Linked signal is very similar to computed, but you can write it, so you can use two-way data binding with linked signal, what you cannot do with computed. If you are not using Angular 19, you can use effect and listen these dependencies and set our value in the effect. But what about validation? If field is empty, the form cannot be submitted. But if we type some value, which is not part of our list and it's not selected, it doesn't make sense to submit form as well. There is required selection directive, which makes field empty if nothing selected. This directive set a null to a value, so it's not an empty string. And here we need to check if the value is a null, then return all options, or we can do like this. And now if I start to type something, and uh, I close the drop down, my field will stay empty. 
until I select something. And it actually breaks our filter because form behaves like not on change but on blue. Another problem is I have selected value and I can submit a form. But if I delete a value, my submit button is still enabled and I actually can press it. So unnecessary submit will happen even if the form is not valid. In this case, we can write our own custom validator and we'll check if value is a string, so field is not valid. And we can use it here. We don't need this one anymore. Don't forget to import validator. Okay. And now, if I select something, form is valid. But when I start to type, which actually makes my value as a string, form is not valid anymore. And I cannot submit it. And last thing, we need to update user ID. For that, we can use ng model change and create method select user ID with value string or user. And if type value is string, we can return and set user ID. And let's add this into console log. Now, if I search and submit selected user, we can see uh, ID number five. But if value is not valid, we cannot submit it. Thanks for watching and see you soon.